Hi everyone, this is Cindy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a night routine and as I would like to introduce you a couple of serums that I find they're really useful for slightly mature uh, skin or like if you're 40 plus and if you have crow's feet and your eyes and uh, the products are from Guerlain. I'm not sure whether I pronounce it properly or not. So this is the set that I have been using and you can see the eye serum has run out already and I have barely any left. These two are just refills so because I really really love especially the eye serum. So I'm going to do a slightly small unboxing with this and uh, I'll show you what I do with the eye serum. So you can see is exactly the same, except that one is already finished. So for this one, it is a pump. It contains two sides. One is the serum, the oil, the, the other side is the cream. So if I just pump. So you can see the mixture would be, I usually warms it up in my palm and then apply under my eye because this is far more than whatever I need so I'm going to put some on the eyelid as well You know, I've been using the Helena Rubinstein eye cream, but that's only for day when I do makeup. I use that and uh, makeup, it doesn't smudge, it doesn't crease. So that one is a really good and eye and the makeup eye cream. But this one, I usually use it in the evening routine. So this is used night eye cream and it's very nourishing. The next morning, I just find all the crow's feet almost is being filled out. So it's the difference is definitely quite visible. That's why I love it so much because I found that this is one of the best eye creams. I've used the La Mer and La Puree and this one, I think, is one of the best. Clarence has a similar range, but I used it. I wasn't impressed. but. When I did a little bit more research, I found this. This is just superb. You can see I have crow's feet around this area. I have some sort of like a socket there. There's a, some eye bag. Uh, this one is definitely making a good improvement. I can't recommend this enough. I have mature skin. For the people who has been following me, you know how old I am. I'm over 50, so you can see if I recommend something, this is not no promotion. I, I don't get any commission for this. It's not affiliated either. So I only recommend things that I use and is good for me. For the remaining ones, I just put it on my forehead between my eyebrows. Sometimes you can see I have two lines there, but I just wrap this in there. And for the remaining, and just let it soak in and then usually I will just do some massaging gentle massaging movements with it until the serum is fully absorbed I don't tend to use any other creams on top because I find it when it's too rich around eyes, it tend to have little white spots underneath. It tend to grow, so I don't like that. Being too rich is not good under the eyes. So the smell is very pleasant. It smells like a honey and I quite like it. It all feels very natural and very, very nourishing, especially this is now winter. 
we do need something more moist to keep the and the eyes nice and supple and uh, moisturized so therefore lines won't form and then i'm not going to um open the new one yet because i still have a little bit left with this bottle so i'm going to use the face serum you can see this is normally how much four pumps i usually use and then i just mix them up it's a very similar texture, slightly a bit runnier than the face cream. And then I just put it on my forehead. And the remaining, I just put it on my neck. I've just had a bath before I started filming, so you can see my skin is quite red and blotchy at the moment because I love to have hot baths. Make sure the temples are covered. Covers everywhere. Make sure that corner of the nose. So just give some gentle massage, massage the product in and to help the skin to absorb it fully. And then in the morning, my skin would look really nice. I love this. I love this set. It is just one of those super great super effective products that i haven't come across for a while so i highly recommend this they are a little bit expensive i think this is a one two five and this one is one three five no one one four five because the two products costs 270 and this one i opted for the 50 meal and the eye serum is just 30 so this is 50 this is 50 this is 30 so that's it and the this is what it's called can you see the name fully yeah that's it oh well, let me get rid of the plastic wrapper because the light makes it has the reflection so this is the it's from Gerline French brand this is the eye serum this is what it's called so you can take a screen grab if you like to find out a little bit more about it obviously I will put a link in the description box so to help you to click on them and uh, so those are the serums and do you remember this shampoo hair serum i've been using and uh, this time i got a 50 ml so i love this hair serum so much so i always use it after i washed my hair i just put it, look at the gray hair between the partings so i just Put this between the partings and the temples because if the hair thins out during menopause obviously i'm going through that perimenopause at the moment so i just put this on and uh, it's about i use no, normally i use two tubes after each um time and to just massage them in i found that this serum does work because you can see that there's little baby hair grows along the hairline so yeah I've been using this for quite some time since last year and this is my fourth bottle and I took the, a 30 ml bottle with me uh, to Japan even though I didn't really need it because I found that the water in Japan or South Korea or Hong Kong is softer and uh, I didn't really lose as much hair but 
when I'm in the UK, I do really need the serum to kind of like to give me a boost. And I've been using it. And there's another product that I really, really love. So this is, you can get it from Harris and you can get it from, or maybe their own website to just search the name. This is a really good product. It's a bit dear, but it's worth it if you're going through a phrase in your life that you're worried about losing hair. So this is a really good product. And finally, I've got a couple of lipsticks from NARS. And this one is called Tolade 2913. It's in a black tubely packaging. And the colour is quite pale. So that's how it looks like on the bit. And this is how it's like on the hand. It's quite moist and uh, quite a pretty colour to use for winter. I mean, it's not too red, but I prefer have a little bit of colour on my face because otherwise, if I don't wear any um, other makeup and then there's nothing on the lips, just make me look quite sallow and uh, no colour on the face. Just a little bit of lipstick is making the face just brightening up a little bit. And uh, this one is, uh, you can see the packaging is different this one is black with white writing this one is pinkish and always a thin tube colors are slightly this one is slightly a little bit more um what do you call it then this one is a little bit more orangey you can see you put these two together this one's slightly a little bit more earthier looking color so you have for this on This is definitely, it has sort of a more reddish tone to it. And then if I test it on the back of my palm, so you can see the difference, slightly different. It's quite pretty. I usually always use a tissue to dab them off and just press it. Not only this get the excessive lipstick off the lips and also it presses it onto the lips so it stays on for longer so you can see this one smudges off quite easily and the first one seems to be hmm, have a longer staying power maybe similar They're not overly moisturised, but it's semi-moisturising, slightly a bit dry. I think this one feels drier than this one, but both quite pretty colours. So, yeah, and then that's so just massaging in to the skin. As you can see, my skin feels nice and supple. Got a natural shine to it. My puffy eyes, my puffy face. So that's it for today and I hope you like these products and the face serum and the eye serum and the shampoo hair serum and the NARS. So I hope you like these products and you can try this if you have the opportunity to get these and let me know how you're getting on with them. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and give my video a like. I'll be most grateful for your support. And uh, thank you so much. And I see you in my next video. And sweet dreams. Bye.